All right, so the food is arriving. I'm so glad to be eating this. Yeah, I like because the middle of topic. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, yeah. So, what's the topic? Tell the people about the topic. The topic we was discussing was like he is saying many Ethiopian women wanna date a black African a black American guy yeah. or not. Well what I mean is like uh, we have such a good relationship. We talk uh, we, we fight, argue sometimes, everything. We fight so much. <laughs> so, uh, what I want to do is like tell people about uh, what it's like to actually date an Ethiopian woman and tell them like what's the new thing about dating an Ethiopian woman. Yeah. What's the difference? What's the difference between dating an Ethiopian woman and you did another woman <laughs> and an American woman, <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> I would say number one, one of the most important things is I didn't know that you met an American woman. Like before, you said I'm your first. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I would say uh, Ethiopians are very serious about dating. Uh, we're not just dating, we're actually engaged. We're engaged, blasted, uh, and that's something that I really like. The fact that they're very serious about relationships. Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna try it uh, next to I got some food here too. It's mine right there. She got some pizza. Uh, another thing is, like Ethiopians have like a super rich culture whereas though like in America our culture is not you know it's like uh, in America they show the bad parts of our culture and that's celebrated in Ethiopia they have a rich historic culture that even the young people are still connected to today so that's really really cool I don't know it's really cool because like, you take a spot word. Me, actually, I don't like it. That's like our difference all the time. Yeah, yeah. There's a cultural difference. Yeah. But still, I, I love that you feel me. But it's still hard, like. No, I love you. I love you. That's what it is. And uh, for me, for me, one of the the things that makes let's not only talk about the wins, let's talk about the hard parts too. Mm. The hard parts, definitely the cultural differences. Like, <laughs> like you take everything easy. Yeah, I'm adaptable because I want this. You know, <laughs> when you want something, you are more adaptable. And when you are Ethiopian, you know, we have pride, like, we have to pride. <laughs> so, like, that's our pride most of the time. Most of the time, yeah. yeah. But I think what's, what's another good thing is she, under, she tries her best to understand me. Mm -hmm. I try my best to understand her, and one of the one of the pillars of our relationship is to agree. Yeah. We always try to like if something comes up and it's like head nodding, head bumping. Where in that uh, problem can we just agree on something? But just know that he's always a headache. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, I, I try. Me, I'm uh, joking all the time. I think everything is funny. Uh, when we are out in public, that's one of the things that she's always like. Everything is joke. Everything is joke. Everything is funny. Well, to me, it's it's a good time. To her, RBF. If you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not tell them. Let's not tell them. I'll tell you. Anyway. 
<laughs> you know? <laughs> but I love it. I love it. I'm having fun in this relationship. We uh, ups and downs. We we've been traveling now straight for almost two years. Almost two years. Yeah. Tell them some of the places we've been. If they don't know, like catch them up. Yeah, we've been so. We got engaged in Kenya. Actually, we met in Ethiopia for the first time. Yeah. And after like some months, we got engaged in Kenya. Mm -hmm. And then we did our honeymoon in Seychelles. That was so fun. Yeah. We went we went uh parasailing in in Seychelles. What's mm -hmm. that ketchup? I don't know. I think that's pizza sauce. I don't know what that is. Uh what's ketchup? What's ketchup? Uh we also we're right now we're living in Thailand. Uh, yeah. We've been here like for for five days. Yeah. Today, last day, last day. So we just want to start a YouTube. This will be our first. This will be our first video. I'm chill. I, so you know, I'm chill. They love it. Like, I like being on camera. Ooh, he love to be on camera. I think it's cool. I think it's cool to be talking to the people, especially like showing your personality uh, for the Ethiopians that might be thinking like, "Oh, I know this American person," or Ethiopian guys and girls, because it goes both ways. Um, if you're thinking like, "I know this American person," and they seem cool, uh, do I want to get to know their personality? Do I want to hang out with them? Let us be the example of like what it's like to be in a relationship uh, outside of your culture and outside of your country. Long distance is hard. Yeah. It is not easy. But when you make it work, when you make it work. The good thing about you, like, you love camera, but you just show your real life. Yeah, my real life. Me, I'm just like, I have to choose like more than thousand pictures, more than thousand videos, like to post to show that something. Yeah. And I really want to learn that and want to change it. To just put out like more authentic. Yeah, just to be me. Like, yeah. Well, like imagine if this was your job. Imagine if we like start uploading like videos to YouTube or something, and they send you a check. Now this is your job, you know? It depends, it depends on if you guys like us. First, you guys okay. like us? I want to be like a YouTuber, tell you the truth. Like, you know, there are some things. Mm -hmm. we don't live together. We just make once in a two months or three months. So it's hard, like. It is hard, but there's ways we can get around that, like, Instead of uh, posting uh, pictures and videos like we do on Instagram, why don't we like post our video calls? You know what I mean? Like if we're on video call, the, the screen will be split right there. We can do the exact same thing. Messy eater. I swear sometimes it's like she's feeding her shirt. Give me that now. Oh yeah, that's another thing we talked about uh, before, is the the language barrier. Okay, that, I have one um, other that, difference when you finish this. The language barrier. Let me tell you about the language barrier. Me, I'm so uh, inquisitive. I want to know what she's saying in Amharic he all the time. He is so curious when I speak Amharic like with my friends, family. I'm like this. It's I wanna, like this. <laughs> I want to know. I can hear some Amharic words, but not enough to like pick up the conversation. So I'm always like, 
Man, what are they talking about? You just know about this, this, this. Yeah, this, Apincha, uh, Joro. I know nothing. like little stuff like that. Can't. Okay. What's another big one for you? This one for you. Everybody asks me like our age difference. Come on, tell them. So, I mean, now since you're gonna, you're gonna throw me out there. He's an old man. <laughs> since you're gonna put me out there like this. You're gonna put me out there like this? Uh -huh. All right. You know, babe, Adam and Eve like have 15 years difference. Really? Yeah. Are you sure? In the Bible, yeah. Me, I did not know that. That's what God puts for like wife and husband. It has to be like. 15 years different. Alright, so we have. But we have a life about a nine years. Nine years different. Yeah. Yeah. We have nine years? We got nine, a nine years, years different. So, me, I think like it's better this way. Like, more than five years is must. That's a thing. Um, if you didn't know, Ethiopian girls are, Ethiopians, excuse me, are up to dating you if you are five years older than them. It's no, no, problem. no, it's not, it's me. I don't know about other girls or me. I prefer to date like five years older. Okay, yeah. I don't know about others. Like, you can say everybody, everyone is like that. All right, all right, yeah, take it back, <laughs> take it back. But I mean, like, just from my experience with Hannah, she seems cool about it. She calls me an old man, but to be honest, I'm quite young and handsome if you. <laughs> well, lucky. <laughs> you know, you know, I feel, I feel very young, so that's my thing. That's my thing. It. It's because you are with me. Yeah, yeah. Young girls snap you back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Actually, nine years is like nothing. Because really girls nothing. get all like so. I yes. And he have to be old because like when he's old, he don't see you. When when you lose your beauty or something, <laughs> he lose his sight. So it's good. <laughs> so you want me to be blind when you start getting old? Okay. Yeah, you would be. Blind. What are you? <laughs> Just bring the injera. Just bring it. Oh, let's talk about the food. Food. food you don't check. like it. <laughs> check. No, I don't like the raw meat. I'll try. I'll, I'll have a small. That's thing. our favorite food. Like, that's our number one food in Ethiopia. If you don't like that, you don't like Ethiopia at all. I do. I love Ethiopia. But the raw meat, nah. Nah. Uh, <laughs> this, uh, my favorite Ethiopian food, I have three of them. Number one, shiro. But you, you know, love shiro, man. it's like, for me, it's like medicine. It makes me feel good. I love it. Uh, but sometimes I don't like it with injera because uh, I feel like injera. They're going to they gonna, they gonna grind me up for that one, ain't they? Yeah. You don't even have to talk about it. Right. Eat shiro with chips. I like to dip it, so just a little bit, not too chips. much. Chips. Like chips as, like, what was the chips name? Oh, sun chips, sun chips. Sun chips. Sun chips. He eat it with sun chips or lays when we are here. He eat it with lays. lays yeah. Just a little dip. It's, it's good, it's so good. That's my style. That's my twist on Hell it. Hell no. It's not Ethiopian <laughs> food. They use it like a cartel. Um, my second favorite food would have to be shekla chips. He loves shekla chips, but. With a little bit of salt? He, you got a deer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One time. Yeah. I you went. eat after that? I ate it after that. Again, yeah. But but if I, the reason why I think I got the the sickness 
was because I went with a friend somewhere else instead of the place where you took me. And I think the meat was still like a little bit raw or something. See, when you are not with meat, you got sick. <laughs> you got into trouble. <laughs> I always get into trouble in Ethiopia. Oh man, there's so many stories. A, a guy tried to sell me a PlayStation controller so we could play together. And he's like, yeah, come on, have a drink and everything like that. I'll take the money and go get the controller. I go in, we have a drink, gets the money, he goes, never comes back. <laughs> never comes back. Actually, you don't have to believe people like Ryan Wilson. Yeah, yeah. That was my fault. That was my fault. Uh, and third... It's not his fault, but... It is. <coughs> For him. <laughs> For that guy, yeah. Uh, third Ethiopian favorite food uh, It's Dero. Dero what? With the chicken, the that one with the chicken, the brown stew with the oh, chicken. You just love chicken, so like when we ordered that, all it he said like, bring me three wings or four <laughs> wings. But you know you have to order four dorowet. What is this? Yeah, yeah. You have to order four food to get four four chicken wings. Why is it like that? Is it expensive or something? Like dorowet is our expensive food it's like for our we made it for girls like it's our favorite food i could go for it right now like literally at any time I so you have dodo. to save when you eat you have to save you have to use the sauce more more than the meat so in the family member you get only one one wing or something like from the chicken we can't just throw a whole chicken body oh, in there. No. Cook the whole chicken body. Like I cook the whole. You chicken get body. one, or if you are like a, a father of the house, you will get two. 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 Not one. I don't know. Hey yo, we about to buy five chickens then. <laughs> no, that's not the culture. It has to be like small because we love the. Sauce more. Uh, me, I love the sauce. The sauce is so good. That's what we love more. Mm. Okay. And you know, injera makes you full. Like, you don't love injera. That's why. No, I'll eat injera. It's good to me when the when the, my palate is very American, so when the sauce of something is really good, like a grage cabbage or... And uh, when the injera is good. When the injera is good. Uh, I don't like store-bought injera. The injera that people make at their house, top tier. Yeah. When her mom makes injera, whew, I yeah, love it. because like, they make it for home. That's for sale. It will, it will not be the same. Yeah, the injera that's for sale. Keep it at your keep it at your store. That's different. <laughs> Let's talk. Well, we still eat it. Yeah, I still eat it. Yeah. Uh, what about uh, one of the things that we brought to her mom's house? Uh, like when I was first meeting her mom and her dad. There's some videos on my Instagram if you check that out. Uh, about like slaughtering the goat. We, we had a goat, we had a sheep, and like you can just pick them up and drove them in the trunk of the car to her mom's house, pull up the whole families out there, uh, and we chopped up a goat <laughs> or a sheep, whichever one it was. Me personally, I can't tell them apart. Uh, maybe when you taste it. You, you can't tell. Yeah, I can't tell. The goat meat is more soft and sweet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, me, I love goat more. You like goat more? Yeah. That's what. That's the little bit of Jamaican she got in there. You know. You know, I'm Jamaican. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Jamaican, so when it comes to the goat, we eat goat. Curry. Curry goat. Yeah. Uh, we eat jerk goat. We eat goat stew, you know? Yeah. We eat all that, all that. That's one of my favorite meats. Oh, it's 
Yeah, we're pulling up on 20 minutes. Yeah, See, this that's one, been out. Like, this is enough. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> hey, check us out on the next video. Uh, if you guys comment anything like that, let us know what you like or uh, let us know some stuff that you want to know about us. And we'll do another one. This this might be the, the together video that the one you guys get for a while uh, until the next time we go on vacation or something. For now, we're going to just enjoy our food. Check it out. Bye, guys.